Hey guys, so one of the things I've realized after some of the comments you guys made after my last videos is the fact that there is a fundamental disconnect between what you see on my screen because I'm using a Mac most of the time and your Windows computer because it doesn't have necessarily the same capabilities and some of the things are different. So I'm going to show you basically how to harmonize this and solve this problem by using the command line on Windows and making it run like a Windows, ter like a Mac terminal. And we're going to do this through SegWin. But in order to you download SegWin, we're going to have to download Chocolate, which is a package manager, kind of like Homebrew for Mac, that enables you to download software without having to actually download the files and run them the usual way, but straight up from the command line. So the first thing we need to do, uh, open up your browser, go to chocolate.org, and that's going to be the package manager uh, in, that when I install, in order to then install uh, SegWin. Then the next thing I want you to do is uh, open up PowerShell. PowerShell is uh, the default uh, equivalent of Terminal, but for Windows. The problem with it, uh, however, is the fact that uh, it doesn't have some of the same commands. So for example, ls, like list, it's the same thing, but what if I want to open uh, music? You see, it doesn't allow me to do that because open is not an actual term on it. And that's annoying. Very, very, very annoying. Plus, a lot of things don't run the same way, and you really don't want to put up with that. So, once you've opened PowerShell, um, what you want, to, what you type in is start process, and everything I'm going to type in tonight, I'm going to put on the video, so don't worry if you can't really completely see the screen. PowerShell verb run as. What that's going to do is going to open up the administrator version of PowerShell, which gives us permission to do stuff. Um, the first thing we're going to do is change our execution policy, basically telling Windows that we've got this, we know what we're doing and we're not going to mess this up, things up, so enable us to uh, do things that alter our systems a little bit. So set execution policy to unrestricted, say yes, and heck yeah. Now Windows is happy, uh, that's going to enable you to download things. Uh, the next thing I want you to do is go here and copy everything from IEX and type it into PowerShell. And, uh, right. We'll basically type that in. Then once you press enter, it's going to download. Uh, it's going to it's going to do download it as a uh, as the package manager, and that's going to enable us to then download software. So, for example, uh, let me show you how to download packages. So let's pretend I want to install uh, what's what's a what's a random thing? Yeah, Ruby. We type in choco install Ruby. Always in the administrator version of the PowerShell. Bam! Ruby is already installed because I already have installed it. But you see how easy it is? You just quickly install it. That way you just say choco install and the name of the package or the software that you want to install. In this case, what we what we're looking for is this thing called Saigon. And it's really awesome. Because it enables us to run the same command as on Mac, but on Windows. So you so you go to your administrator PowerShell, you say choco install Saigon. And in my case, it's obviously because it's already downloaded, it's not going to be a big deal, but this is kind of what it looks like. Oh, if you want to run a script, say yes. Uh, and that's us giving permission to download. Always say yes because if you're downloaded from Chocolate, then it's a secure kind of thing. Uh, we're going to close the setup. I do want to exit the setup and I want to close it because I already have it downloaded. But then once you, once you have it downloaded, pin it to the taskbar or whatever. Open it up and let me show you what Segwin looks like. So you open it up. Uh, I think yours is going to be a little bit smaller because I altered some of my settings, uh, kind of like I did with my Mac uh, last time. Uh, but once you do open up Cyguin, it's going to be pretty awesome.
Yep. So you see ls open r. Yeah, well, open. Yeah. Well, open is the only thing that's actually not there. Uh -huh. But if you want to do something like touch index.html, bam, then you want to remove it index.html. See, it's always it's the same thing. It's really, really, really awesome. Um, the only distinction is that, yeah, you don't have open. You, that, that's why if you want to open anything from an application, so let's, put it, let's try to open a Firefox, you do six start. Um, yeah, and if you want to run something, uh, you also run six start, basically. Um, that's the only thing. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. But it, this is very, very important because it's the precondition to using all the other videos. Uh, watch the other Mac video to show you how to basically get accustomed to the command line. But this video is critical because if you don't download Chocolate, if you don't understand how to download packages, you don't download Cygwin, then you're not going to be able to use that. You're not going to be able to follow up the next videos where I'm going to be using the terminal more. So just do this and it will make your life a lot easier and uh, it will just solve all your issues.